Hello everyone and welcome back to Inexpensive Beauty. It is your girl Nikki the Mohawk Maiden and we are going to do the Nene Leaks really really quickly. Now I know you're probably thinking what is the Nene Leaks? Well if you ever look at Nene Leaks on the Atlanta Housewives she has a favorite combo um, that she rocks all the time and that combo is uh, the blue eyeshadow with the blush and she wears some pink lip gloss. Very flattering, very beautiful. So I'm going to try it really quick for you this morning. Love the look. It complements any skin tone. You have to find the right blue and the type of pink that you're looking for. And I'm going to be using, as you guys know, my Revlon pink um, lip gloss. I'm going to be using a little bit of my high beam just to contrast really well. And I've already based my face with my Nature Luxe Cover Girl, and I've used some of my Bare Mineral Powder Matte. Um, if you don't have any Bare Mineral Matte and you have very oily skin, you're doing yourself a great big disservice. I tell ladies all the time, you know, you have to buy makeup according to your skin. It doesn't have to be expensive. And I'm going to use some blue shadow. And it's kind of like a navy blue. You can do the light blue if you want. Well, I'm just going to do this today, some navy blue shadow. And that is basically it. Um, and like I tell people all the time, I'm looking for my brush, guys, and I am talking to you guys. You know, you don't have to spend a lot on makeup. Don't do it. You're doing yourself such a disservice, especially when there's makeup out there right now that can handle your needs. Makeup has come a long way. It's not what it used to be. Um, and if you're going out there and you're spending money on MAC and you're spending money on Makeup Forever and all these other brands, I'm not going to tell you not to do it. I am going to tell you to be wise. And if you like that stuff, you know, put it away for very special occasions. But everyday wear... Go to the drugstore, get some really good makeup. For uh, foundation, I do encourage Revlon. Very good stuff, especially for girls with uh, tan skin or women of color is what I should say. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to do my movie first. And this just gives me the contrast I'm looking for. I'm going to put my war paint on. But you guys know I have to put my war paint on. i got to put on my war paint. And okay, and this just gives me um, illumination. And this is one of the things I do spend money on. And this is High Beam Benefit. Love this stuff. It works so well, and it makes your blush pop. And it's great for a summer look if you're going out on a date and you want to look as natural as possible. And you, you know, just want to do something beautiful for your skin, so it illuminates your skin like really, really well. So let me go ahead and bring my camera in so you guys can see and adjust my light a little. There we go. There we go. My daughter's always using my stuff, and I can always tell when she uses my camera because she's so much taller than I am. Okay, so I put my illuminator on. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my blue shadow. Let's see. One second, guys. I got to get my brush. Oops. I'm back. You probably got a glimpse of these funky pants I'm wearing today. It looks like somebody uh, splashed paint on them. Love these pants. They're so cute. And so as you guys know, I tell you all the time to prime your eyes, especially if your skin is oily. And priming your eyes allows your shadow to stay. You don't have to use a lot of the primer, but just enough to cover the lid because I'm not going to put a whole bunch of it on. There we go. Put a little bit on the other eye. And yes, my eyebrows are wooly. And yes, I need to do them. And they will be done. It's just that. You know, have you ever gone someplace and they overpluck your eyebrows? You have to wait for them to grow back. I usually get them waxed, but this time I got them threaded and she messed them up. So now I have to do, undo what she's done and get my eyebrows done correctly so they have to grow back in so they're born. They're woolly. So the blue, so I'm applying now. I'm just going to put it on the lid. Just on the lid. And you can use variations of blue, whatever blue you like. I'm using a darker blue today. But feel free to use whatever blue you like. Okay. 
And if I look like I just woke up, I did. I'm actually about to go to work. And I didn't go to the gym this morning. I kind of slept in because today is Friday. I know you probably see some of the blue on the underlying part of my eye. And that's fine as well because I'm actually going to use that to my advantage. Brought my camera in a little more so you can see. Because I don't like to put eyeliner underneath my eye. But I find that when I close it and I just go lightly over the lid, it gets on the bottom as well. So it gives me a better look. There you go. Make sure I get in that corner. Make sure I get right there as well. There it is. So there's my blue eye. Let's do the next one really, really quickly. And if you want to make your shadow pop, you can always dampen your wrist or the top side of your hand with a drop or two of water. Slide your brush in it and it makes your color just stand out like crazy. There you have it. Just gonna do a little bit on the underline. Oh, I actually got some on my face. Crap. Had to go back over and touch that up. I have a uh, makeup wipe that I usually wipe off some of the excess makeup if I get too much someplace. But just doing the lid of the eye, as you can see, just the lid. And my makeup wipe, where did you go? I'm just going to take this off right here, and I'll fix that. I'm putting a little bit more of a base on top of that right there, but that's pretty much it. So we have the blue popping, and it's going to touch up where I had a little bit of the blue shadow fall right there. Okay, so that's it. We did the blue. And another thing that uh, Nini also does is she highlights her cheekbones. And whoever her makeup artist is, let me bring that down some, whoever her makeup artist is does an excellent job. Phaedra's eyes are awesome as well. Love those girls. Um, they make me laugh. I just love it. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people think that those kinds of things are negative. I don't give a shit. I tune in every Sunday and I laugh my ass off. Uh, so go ahead and blush that out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some pink blush. And I'm actually going to use my Neutrogena. There you go. And this is Neutrogena Healthy Glow Rose Glow. Another good product. Neutrogena is great for um, troubled skin or sensitive skin. I don't like Almay that much because I don't think that's really made for us as African Americans. But, you know, if you like it, buy it. So I'm just going to go ahead. I put some of the pink blush on. I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. And so I'm going to do the other side. And some people don't like using these big feathery brushes for blush. I do. I think it gives a, I think it gives a better contrast. Um, and as you can see, it just kind of smooths your skin out when you have a very nice finish. And it buffs it all in really well for you. And then, as you guys know, she rocks her famous lip gloss. There you have it. Really quick, really easy. Look at it. It's so freaking pretty. And all of these products that I just used, they are all products that I got from the drugstore. Revlon for the lip gloss. Neutrogena Rosy Glow. And any type of blue eyeshadow is great. Just find something that works for your skin. And like I always say, it is okay to be beautiful. But how are you going to do it? You're going to do it inexpensively. And this is the Nini Leaks look. The blue eyeshadow, the rosy cheeks, the pink lipstick, and you guys have a good day.